Okay, good people. Here's what here, here's what we got going. This is gonna be the one, and I'm not gonna go inside. I'm just gonna show you outside. Uh, that's the house. Now this one over here is the five bedroom. Too much house. Uh, loved it. Loved the size of everything, but it's just too much cost associated uh, and uh, this is her we're gonna put it under contract tomorrow hmm. see I won't say the street for my own safety Ha, ah, it's got a little bitty backyard. Back there with the critters. And there's gonna be critters coming out at night. I just know it. Well, I hope this mixes well with the other videos, but I should have turned my, uh, I should have turned my phone sideways. Anyway, the story about these um, is that when the, when the uh, postage stamps went up, Two cents. Everybody lost their mind, and I, I think that was two or three years ago. Anyway, uh, so the post office decided, well, all these houses are going up. You know, 200 houses here, 200 houses there, and um, what ended up happening is that they put it on a ballot, some city ballot, ballot, all over Georgia, every county or every municipality, to uh, vote to put these up instead of mailboxes because the postal service didn't want to pay hire more people to service all these new houses so the ones that had mailboxes said oh, well we got ours we don't care and it ended up getting voted down and ended up making it a uh, statewide uh, law that for all new housing developments they have to have these kind of mailboxes ain't that a trip I want my own mailbox but anyway that's the deal and they're building on this house, so a lot of racket. Okay. All right, folks, here we are. Back at the pad. You wouldn't believe what I did. Um, the other day, I had the video off when I thought it was on, and I had it on when I thought it was off. <laughs> so... I took a bunch of pictures of the floor, the ceiling, you name it. Um, I was not getting a picture of the inside of this place. So I'm back again with no distractions, no realtors, nobody um, coming by to bother me. So here we go. Sorry, I got a piece of paper in my hand if you hear that. A little closet. We'll get this door last. This is the garage. There's the half bath. I had this guy from Australia say, What does that mean? You get a bucket? <laughs> what do you mean half bath? It's funny how different cultures um, understand things differently. But here's the living room. Pretty good size. It's a little dining area. And you know what? kitchen island I'm gonna go um, it's another little dining area over here didn't really want gas but all the upgrades were in here 
I'll tell you how I found this place. I didn't find this house exactly. I was gonna, um, I wanted to get a lot that isn't gonna be finished until uh, February. Know how long it's been since I had a pantry? No light in here. And there is a light in here. Oh, good size pantry. I'm gonna cut this off. So I, I need to measure um, this area right here. See how big the of a refrigerator I can uh, put here. <laughs> anyway, this backsplash. Sorry if I'm a little out of breath, but this, uh, I ran over here. Um, this backsplash, this blue was an upgrade. Got the um, dishwasher. Little sink thing is nice. I don't know what those little buttons are. I have a walkthrough on the 20th of this place. I'm gonna shut it off. I needed to get a picture of this. I'm not sure what all of those are, but I've only got one service out here. And then, um, mm -mm. Put a TV on the wall. Need little chairs for that, huh? Got nerve to call this patio an upgrade. Because <laughs> um, it's bigger than most of them. Anyway, this is what I'm talking about, the little backyard. Um, and if I ever get out from under this crazy ass interest rate, I'll put a fence like that um, around here to keep those. That area right there is where all the animals are gonna come from. <laughs> they call me the critter guy, because I don't like the critters. Don't want the critters. Anyway, small yard. It's gonna be a heck, gonna probably be a big yard if I ever have to cut this grass. <clears throat> I'm gonna pay somebody to do it. Um, my homeboy's brother got in the business, so. I'll turn it back on when I'm going up the stairs. <clears throat> okay, here we go upstairs. <clears throat> nice little window. <laughs> Somewhat of a view. You know Atlanta is just in the middle of a forest. Anyway, here's the uh, master. It's really large. Nice big walk-in closet. terrible video stuff. <laughs> this car in the tub. The big picture window. Walk-in shower.
my keys dangling. This is the loft. Nice little size uh, room. Lots of closets. I think this is a closet. I'm not sure what this is. Yeah, it's a closet. That's a closet. This, I think, is the linen. Yeah, linen. You make them so small. They're not very deep, put it that way. And then another closet in the loft. That's where the washer and dryer goes. It's kind of um, shallow. And my washer and dryer is pretty big. But according to that thing there, I think it'll work. Now these uh, bedrooms are both the same size. One of them will be my office. The other one will be the guest room. It's gonna take me forever to, to afford to, um, to furnish this place. Oh, small walk-in closet. Turn lights on everywhere. And the bill is paying for it. So this is the uh, sick third third bathroom we've seen. I don't know. I was taught to. <laughs> When you leave a room, especially somebody else's house, you don't leave the lights on. So same size closet, but you know what? This is plenty size for me. Cause I have to upkeep this until I find I'm gonna say that. Let me jinx myself. But that's it, folks. It's gonna be mine. The 27th. I almost forgot. <laughs> the garage. They painted the walls. Typically, um, you don't get them painted. And this is a smart garage. Guess this little thing on the wall, I can um, plug it into my phone so that I can uh, open it with the opener or the phone. Like if I want somebody to get in the house or whatever, I might put a different lock on this door to the garage. But, okay, that's it now. So this is the pollinator. And those videos are um, what I'm claiming to be my house. Uh, <laughs> I talked to a friend of my father's who um, he believes in, he's superstitious. Superstitious about baseball and um, superstitious in general. So he doesn't want to to see this video until it's mine, and um, yeah, until the keys are in my hand. So I'm just holding this phone. By the way, I'm not dressed for anything. Uh, and I just wanted to explain that uh, you know I I bumped into that house. Very interesting, the timing of everything. So I bumped into that house three months ago. It wasn't a house. 
um, or they were building on it. And I was going to pick a couple of lots and have, you know, the house was going to be built on those lots and finished in February. So I left alone because of the terms. I didn't like the terms. Then I ended up with a few real estate agents, uh, ones that did not want to work. They were not hungry enough to get to talk to the builder and the, sell, the selling agent to get me in that house. So I mentioned, I got a new real estate agent and I mentioned the place to her, said I had already found uh, one that I liked and she wanted me to give her a shot. And so she went in there, guns a blazing, saying, you know, this is what the earnest money is going to be. They wanted a lot. I wanted to give them a little and uh, we compromised in between, but, and then just begin the process. It was a short sell because the person who had the house before had nerve to be a real estate agent and put, put her name on a title of another house and uh, got herself disqualified from that house. So that's how I found it. It hadn't even gone on the market. Uh, the selling agent wondered, oh, what the hell am I gonna do with this house? And uh, I came along. My agent called her, or I called her first, and then my agent called her. No, actually, I think I had my agent call her. Anyway, um, so, yeah, we begin the process, and now I'm halfway through. Everything's in underwriting, and I'm just, you know, waiting for things to happen uh, while I start preparing to leave here. And, um, yeah, that's how, sorry, my arms are getting tired. Um, yeah, I'm making preparations, and then I have walkthroughs. I got an inspection, an appraisal, um, and then, um, oh, what else? The closing. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a day. I'm going to be tickled pink if I get this house. This was a dream come true. I put it under contract on the day, the second year anniversary of my father's passing and uh this is for you bob you know a long time ago i wanted a house many decades ago and he didn't think i was stable enough so i thought about the first person i thought about was him especially because of that day and then my uh lease ended on this place the few days before i put this under contract when i found found the place so everything is just in line, in alignment. Uh, you know, cross your fingers, your toes, say a prayer for me if you're into prayer. Just put some good energy out into the universe uh, that this happens. And if you're a hater, I don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> don't be jealous. Trust me, I deserve this. Um, you know, I talked to another real estate agent who said, I think all veterans in the United States deserve a home and uh, a house. But, you know, that's not how the country really sees it. They pay lip service to our service. You know, people thanking us for our service sometimes falls flat because, um, you know, there's a lot of pieces of the government that don't treat veterans well, including the Veterans Administration. And, you know, we feel expendable to them. So they do us any old kind of way <clears throat> at the VA. And, oh, you'll have to apologize for me to being just totally winded when I did that video. I was moving too fast and my feet hurt all the time. 24 hours a day they hurt. I am disabled because of my feet and they disqualified me for care for my feet. This is the VA for you. So I have to go through, I don't even think I can go through a tort reform because this started so many years ago and you only have so many years to start that <clears throat> to try to uh, sue doctors of the VA. And by the time you get anywhere, you know, they, you will have found care somewhere else because, you know, if you're in pain, you're gonna wanna stop that pain, right? 
Me, I there's nothing I can do. I did have TV stations and stuff like that go in there and try to talk to them, but pff, they didn't care. Um, anyway, so this is a blessing. This, that the lady that said that about um, veterans deserving a home turned around and said, but we're not going to help you get one. She works for a mortgage company. I said, really? <laughs> uh, because of a couple of things that are going to fall off my credit report next year, a whole bunch of stuff is going to fall off um, uh, next year. And that's right around the corner. So this must have been, some, this was, this was supposed to happen exactly this way. And, and I love that place. I love the house. I even gave it a name. Her name is Charlene, my mother's name. And, um, because she, I bought a house back in 1989 and she Christianed my kitchen and just, she was so proud of me that I, that I bought a house back then. It was just a townhouse with a detached garage. So this, not having to share walls, oh my God. First time in my entire life that I will live in my own house. So this is the weekend. It's actually Sunday morning and everybody have a blessed, rest of your weekend. Peace.